looking at uh, verse uh, 14 and 15. Do <clears throat> I have it? Right? 
He wanted to totally destroy all of them, just wipe them all out. Now, sometimes that, that you know, just reading that on the surface, that kind of seems harsh. But here's what I, I found out when I read, you know, what in, in in the Old Testament when I read stuff like this. Uh, uh, God wanted those people destroyed so that their sons wouldn't wouldn't marry their daughter, you know, the, the daughters of the of the land, and uh, the, the Israelite daughters wouldn't marry their sons. He didn't want them to to, to intermingle just so that they would be influenced to serve other gods. Right? They would be influenced to serve other gods. So the, 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 the commandment is for you to totally destroy those people living in the, in the promised land, in the land that I'm going to give you. Right? How many know that the devil is, is crafty? The devil is, he, 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 can be, he can be a slick kind of character, right? So the devil, he has, he has all kind of uh, things up his sleeve. So, so there was a particular group of people, the Gibeonites, who checked this out. They heard what the Lord did for the people of Israel right. in Jericho. Mm -hmm. We're familiar with the story of Jericho, Amen. right? When 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 uh, they crossed over the Jordan River, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they marched around the city once every day for six days. Mm -hmm. On the seventh day, oh, yeah. they marched around the city yeah. seven times in total silence, mm -hmm. and 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 then uh, Joshua told the people to to shout. And then they shouted, and what happened? The walls came down. And they went in and, and, and totally conquered Jericho, right? Amen. So there, there, there were several, uh, a few battles that, that took place that caused the inhabitants of the land to kind of be scared. They were like, look, we got to do something. We, we got to do something because, because this God, this powerful God, right. is fighting for these children of Israel. So, 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 some of the some of the people in the land they they, they decided they're gonna all get together mm -hmm. and you know we're gonna you know, form an alliance and we're gonna try to attack them. But this particular group of people, the Gibeonites, mm -hmm. they 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 decided to be a little bit more crafty. Mm -hmm. They said that we're going to 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 go to them mm -hmm. and we're gonna put on some traveling clothes and we're gonna put on our old worn out sandals. And, 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 and we're going to, to, to uh, uh, pack our, our, our satchels with old, moldy, crusty bread. Mm -hmm. And right. we're going to act like mm -hmm. we came from a faraway land. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. because, because they heard that God said for the Israelites to destroy mm -hmm. everybody right. that was in the land. Right. Mm -hmm. So they said, you know what? We, 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 we're not even going to take the chance All right. to try and fight against them. Mm -hmm. We're going we're gonna, to uh, uh, do it this way. Right? And so, and so the interesting things about, uh, thing in this whole uh, 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 passage of Scripture uh, for me is that uh, in verse 14, it's, again, it says, So the Israelite leaders examined their bread, but did not consult the Lord. So they examined the bread. So the guy, the, the Gibeonites came to them and they said, you know, look, we're, we're in fact, it was, it was kind of, it was, it was interesting because they said, we heard about this God mm -hmm. and, 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 and we want to come in and, and basically pay respect to this, this mighty God, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know, and we want to form a tree with you mm -hmm. because we understand that this God is, is, is just awesome. All right. Yeah. And we came from a faraway land. Mm -hmm. We came from a faraway land. And so, here's what I want you to, to, to really focus on. The Israelites and their leaders, they said, you know what, okay. It looks like they came from a faraway land. It looks like they are travelers that, that have been traveling for, for quite some time. It looks like because because of, of the of, of the, the traveling clothes, because their sandals are worn out, because of now get this, because of even the bread was old, crusty, and moldy. It looks like their story can be believed. Yeah, yeah. It looks like. And, and, and that's what the Bible says that they did. They examined the bread. They examined the bread, but did not consult right. the Lord. Amen? Amen. It's, it's a mistake to presume something uh, is the truth 
and say, you know what, this looks like what it is. But if you don't take time in prayer mm -hmm. to find out if it is the truth, right. then, then, then you're going to make a mistake. Yeah. A mistake that could, 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 could uh, have uh, consequences mm -hmm. that are detrimental to, to, to your well-being. Yeah. See, we, we have to, we, and, and, and that's what, because the story, mm -hmm. because the story appeared oh, yeah. to be the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a harmless story. It, it's not like, it's not like the Gibeonites were coming to try to do battle with them. Mm -hmm. right? right? Because Joshua and the leaders, mm -hmm. they would automatically consult God mm -hmm. if it relates to a battle. Because they knew that they couldn't handle the battle. Go ahead, go ahead. But what they said this time, uh -huh. they said, you know what, I, we got it. This is easy. Right, right. This is easy. One thing we have to do is look at the bread, mm -hmm. look at the clothes, mm -hmm. look at the worn out sandal. Yeah, yeah. We got this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got this. Uh -huh. we, don't, we don't need, mm -hmm. in this case, mm -hmm. to consult God.
There's something to be said about planning and preparation. But if you don't prayerfully seek God's direction in your planning and preparation, you could potentially not get the peaceful, pleasant results that you desire. That you desire. Proverbs 6, 30, uh, 6 and 3 says this, Commit your work to the Lord, then your plans will succeed. Now listen, listen to what that says. It says, commit your work to the Lord, then your plans. So this per this particular person, he planned. Because there's a place for planning and preparation. But on the front end, this person decided that in order for me to truly succeed, to get the end result that I want, I have to commit my plans, all of my work, to the Lord. There shouldn't be an opportunity where you're a... Uh, uh, Doing something, making the making the decision without prayerfully considering what God has to say about it. Amen. 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 One of my mom's favorite scriptures is is, is this Proverbs uh, three five and six. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct thy path. Amen. Amen. So, so what that's saying, and and and, and Some of the part of the problem is mm -hmm. 
is, is, is a lot of us, sometimes, we, play, we put ourselves in a position to where we hadn't fellowship with God, we hadn't, hadn't seeked His direction in quite a while because we, can, we can examine the bread and, and do it ourselves. And so when the Holy Spirit does speak to us, or when we do read the Bible, and, and, and God is trying to speak to us through the Word, we don't hear His voice. So when the preacher man says to trust the Lord, we're standing by, you know, trust the, we, we can't we can't trust him because we don't hear him. All right. Amen. Amen. Well, the only way that you're going to be able to hear him is you got to develop your ear right. to, in order to hear him. Amen. Amen. And, and the way that you develop your ear is to spend time with him. Amen. And to develop a relationship with him. Amen. My wife knows me and knows when I'm dealing with certain things because she's taking the time. To hear me. She's taking a, a, through, 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 through a relationship that yeah. we develop. Yeah. She can hear me. Mm -hmm. Even when I don't speak. Go ahead. Go ahead. She can hear me. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. We have to develop a relationship yeah. with God. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 through, through, through prayer. Mm -hmm. Through the reading of the word. Fellowship and communion with the with the Holy Spirit. We have to develop a relationship so that we can hear Him. Because you can't trust what you can't hear. That's right. That's right. Amen. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. we, we we have a hard time trusting. God.